This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Hell Divers 2, a game that came out on February 8th, 2024, approximately three months ago this year. The game was about getting rid of bugs or robots, you know, and fighting together with your teammate to defend and squash and kaboom. Mm -hmm. And two days ago or so, they made a tweet and it has the entire fandom uprising against them because of what they tweeted. So let's check out what they tweeted and what's happening for Helldivers 2, shall we? This came out, it said, Helldivers, an important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking for PC players and its significance in providing player safety features. So let's see what they wrote. Helldivers 2, account linking update. Attention, Helldivers. Due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts uh, to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. Of course, they don't tell you that. It's very hard to cancel a subscription or, you know, just delete your account on PlayStation because you have to go through a lot of weird loops and stuff. But, you know, you know, no one has to know about that. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, that is very much an understatement. This stuff will help us to continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Not anymore. I don't think there's anyone left that's proud to be part of this community. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. And that's the big bad in this you know, whole conundrum. It's not the game developers themselves, but it's mainly Sony who's doing this and then, you know, the which caused the uproar and a lot of stuff within the community. Yeah. The community was once very happy. You know, Helldivers 2 was seen as one of those games you don't have to pay like 70 bucks and you actually get a good game. Some people saying, you know, like Baldur's Gate 3, Helldivers 2, you know, Lethal Company, etc, etc, you know, those games were good games. Okay. But I don't think it was going to be recommended Helldivers 2 to anyone anytime soon. Now let's check a different tweet I saw. Helldivers 2 now has over 200,000 negative reviews on Steam. But the funniest tweet I saw within the replies and stuff was this. Here's the achievement you can get when you write the review. Write a negative review. Doing your part. So now let's get to why this is a bad thing. Why is this causing so much uproar? So Helldivers 2 has been pulled from Steam in 170 countries without PSN access while Valve ignores its own policy to issue refunds for a player with over 100 hours. Yes, apparently uh, not every country is allowed to have a PSN account in the first place. So basically, if you're not in a, one of the 69 countries or so that can make a PSN account, basically you have a game that you can't play no more and you were sold the game that you can't play no more. And now people, have, of course, are trying to also get refunds and stuff like that. No one really went into Helldivers 2 thinking that they would be forced to, you know, make a PlayStation account when you're playing on the PC. Why would you have to make something like that in the first place, right? Helldivers 2 debacle has reached new hellish lows as the year's best-selling game is now unavailable on Steam in over 170 countries. Earlier this week, publisher Sony announced that all Helldivers 2 PC players would soon need to link to an active PlayStation Network account or lose access to the game. A mandate that was once a simple option at launch and has since led to thousands of negative user reviews hitting the once widely popular shooter. A Helldivers 2 community manager just yesterday assured that people in countries without PSN coverage could continue playing the game and wouldn't be blocked. Yeah, I don't think that was a good thing to say if you weren't 100% sure because just the next sentence said, but now Helldivers 2 has been pulled from more than 170 territories lacking PSN coverage 
according to listings from Steam database. While some global players won't be able to join the fight and buy the game, it's unclear if existing Helldivers 2 owners will be able to continue playing if they live in unsupported regions. Helldivers 2 on Steam is now unavailable to purchase in numerous countries after it was announced that a PSN login will soon be required. Mm -hmm. Either way, that's a massive blow to Helldivers 2, a game that became one of Sony's all-time bestsellers thanks to the PC version. Which makes this even weirder that, you know, they would pull a stunt like this. Like, Dude, you had a best-selling game. People were very hyped. They were all recommending this game to their friends. They were dragging their friends to f help them fight against bugs and or robots, whichever one you preferred, really. And now you're doing this and making the game itself unavailable for people <laughs> in so many countries. This is a huge loss. Like, why would you want to potentially have less actual customers for your game? That's crazy. Uh, and it raises questions about why the game was available in those territories to begin with, especially if the PS and mandate was always planned as sony said in its announcement no. who knows right sony like you you would never sell people a game that they could not have access to because they're not a, a psn uh, approved country right right you, you do know there are more than 69 countries in the world right <laughs> Sony, right? Sony? Sony? <laughs> Ignoring its own policies, uh, Steam stewards uh, Valve have also reportedly been issuing refunds to several longtime hell divers that have logged into Super Earth space for more than 100 hours. Steam policy normally doesn't allow for refunds if a player exceeds two hours in game. But since the PSN requirement came months after launch, Valve rightly seems to be making an exception. A hell divers 2 a developer recently reiterated that the PSN change came from Sony not the talented team at Arrowhead Studios. So if you're going to be mad at someone, don't direct your anger at Arrowhead Studios. It's just very unfortunate that they don't have an actual say against what Sony does with their the game that they made, which is very sad, you know? This is another reason why I think that sometimes you know, as a game developer, you, you do want your game to be played on as many platforms as you can by as many people as you can, in theory, right? But also, if you don't have any last sayings of what actually happens to your product, that might be a problem in the future. Also, PlayStation has a lot of games that don't need a PSN account to be played over PC as well because again like why would you have a PSN account if you're playing on PC you don't use PlayStation in the first place I mean not everyone has a PlayStation believe it or not like but it is what it is in the end of the day it's very sad to see this happen so issuing refunds is probably the most effective route to getting a message across as opposed to shouting toxicity at devs Sony also announced a mandate on a Friday and thus has yet to officially respond to the backlash does escalate pretty wildly in just a few days Sony at this point you really need to just go like okay jk guys we weren't serious we won't force you to have a psn access i can't we were in serious okay i mean an intern must have gotten our notes mixed up somehow in some way we, we were never serious about that. that like that's the only way to maybe save face just a little bit sony in this article it does say that steam is issuing refunds to helldivers to players but also some people said that they didn't receive a refund but also other people are suggesting that you know you try to ask for a refund more than once like if you ask for like maybe at least two to three times you might get an actual person to look at what you're asking for a refund and then they might issue it to you things like automated and stuff so you have to get through the automated stuff normally you can only you know get a refund for a game if you have under two hours of play time but it's like hell divers 2 was a massive community okay guys full easily had at least 100 hours put into them just saying so let's check out this other article about this situation shall we so it says sony doubles down removing hell divers 2 from sale in 177 countries and territories that can't access psn while Arrowhead CEO says, I don't have the final say, which is tragic because you are literally the game dev of this game, but you don't have the final say. This is why, guys, always remember if you are <laughs> the one that's creating something, remember to like have the last say, have anything you need as the creator, and, and don't just give it all up for you know some quick money or something because then you'll be remembered as having over 211,000 negative steam reviews 
and counting. Even as members of Helldiver Studio Erha Games say that discussions around Sony's controversial PlayStation Network signing requirement for Helldiver 2 on PC are still ongoing, looks like the publisher is doubling down the move, halting sales of the game in countries where it doesn't offer the service. I mean, they're trying to talk with Sony, but also who knows if they'll ever get a response for this. So, in theory, Helldiver 2 uh, was always supposed to require players to sign into the PlayStation Network in game, but this is not required at launch due to network infrastructure limitations. Remember how Divers 2 early uh, server woos? The thing is, these days, if a game needs servers to be played on, usually there's, there's always some kind of problem with the servers. Like, you can't access the servers, you can't play on the servers, you get keep getting kicked out of the servers. It's like, I don't think servers need to be this big of a problem, but apparently they do. Two days ago, Sony announced that it would begin enforcing that requirement in a month-long rollout. While merely an admittedly audio soon convenience for most players, PC users in countries not covered by PSN might be locked out of the game entirely. Basically, you played for a game now that uh, that you are now locked out of because you can't even make an account in a thing that you don't want to make an account in in the first place. This simple fact seems to have taken even Sony by surprise with a uh, fact from the publisher in the Helldivers 2 Discord seeming to direct players to set their PSN account to a country other than the one in which they live. A violation of Sony's terms of service. Of course we would never say that. Pss, pss, no, no, no. Of course not, guys. Of course not. You know, law-abiding citizens, everyone. Yes, 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 yes. I'm talking about you, Jim, in the back. Yeah, you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not calling you out, Jim. Don't worry about it. Have a free cookie, Jim. I was speaking to the game's writing community yesterday. Held divers to community managers, Fitz, Frames, uh, addressing this oversight as the developer's number one priority in discussions with Sony about the requirement. Uh, as shared by Steam DB early this morning, Helldivers 2 has been removed from sale on Steam in 177 countries and territories. Japan seems to be on the list as an outlier, with the game being replaced by a different version of the country. Yay, Japan, I suppose. Seemingly due to localization reasons. The rest, though, are all regions not eligible for PSN access. With this move seemingly in preparation for the worst case scenario of a rollout where players who can't sign up for the PlayStation Network are simply out of luck. The Steam uh, review ride against the move continues unabated with over 211,000 negative recent reviews bringing the former people's champion of 2024 to overall mixed status on the platform. Almost 130,000 of those new negative reviews were in the past day alone. Like, people really band together. Eurogame also reports that some players are even receiving refunds from Steam despite vastly exceeding the platform's usual two-hour window. And how divers to develop for Arrowhead might just be one of the biggest victims of the situation, having its trend setting a uh, game of the year shortlist labor of love gets proverbially drawn and quartered due to myopic Sony decision making. We are taking, we are talking solutions to Sony, especially in non PSN countries. Arrowhead CEO, CEO Johan, is this the moment to tweet what you guys don't have phones? On serious no, we are talking solutions with PlayStation, especially for non PSN countries. Your voice has been heard. And I am doing everything I can to speak for the community, but I don't have the final say. Uh, Sony has been holding its hand to Hosto for about three days now, all in the name of capturing new emails and used into its PSN ecosystem, even though so many people don't even have access to it. And while I'm just a simply simple country games journalist, the smart move would probably be to stop right about now. Um, but I mean, you know, why stop when, yes. <laughs> What's more, not making this shame would take less effort. The game was released on Steam in around February, so it has been a few months and everything has been fine. People have been able to connect. So he ain't wrong about that. The thing is, they claim that people, I mean, this was always a plan, right? They, they literally said, this was always our plan, guys. You know, to have you uh, make a PSN account and, you know, give us your information. Yeah and become new account owners, yeah. But I honestly don't think people actually knew when they were purchasing the game that they were it was going to be f enforced on them. Because if they did, like, it wouldn't make sense for people from 177 countries buy a game that they no longer have access to in the first place. 
honestly, this is not the way to go. If they actually wanted people to, you know, sign up to PlayStation Network accounts newly, right? They could have, like, I don't know, run a promotion or something, like, sign up with PlayStation Network now and get, like, a cool weapon skin or something, or, like, a cool uh, outfit or something, you know? I think, you know, instead of enforcing people to make an account with you, if you actually gave them an incentive, some people would have done it. Most of the ones that were like, eh, sure, sure, I'll, I'll sign up. Whatever, I, I want a new outfit. There were definitely better ways to go to try to pro get more people to sign up, that's for sure. This was not one of those ways, that's for sure. The, the voice of the people has been heard. I really don't think this was worth it, Sony. Like, there, I also checked, and there's over uh, 240,000. And I got a review, and I'll put a screenshot on the screen so you can see just how many there are right now but yeah like people really want you to know don't get this game like this game was praised so hard and now they have completely turned the community against them you know even if it isn't really the developer's fault per se i think people might think twice before they get a game from arrowhead unless there's like a specific we will never ask you to make a ps <laughs> account somewhere when you purchase the game that was made from them you know which is kind of sad like i said the the game that was once praised so highly is now in a very negative uh, light because of something that sony wanted uh, them to do which is you know not really fair but unfortunately it is what it is we'll see if sony replies back and like i said say oh jk guys we actually don't want to enforce this on you uh, there was just a mix-up. Teehee. I mean, I thought they would do that, but if they did, teehee to you as well, Sony. Teehee to you. <laughs> Please subscribe and like this video if you did, and I'll see you in something else. Bye!